I want to start by telling you thank you so much, Marvin. You had a very entertaining uh, speech that you gave to everybody. I felt that uh, this was a really good one for me because I do cold call quite often. So I'm really glad to be able to. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> to be able to, to evaluate you on this. Some of the great things that I thought you did. First off, I really loved Anita Realtor. I don't know if that was an actual pun, but it sounded like one to me. Right. <laughs> so I wrote that down. I also enjoyed your organization at the front part of your actual speech where you talked about leading up into it, your three easy steps, establishing rapport, ask question, and listen, which I agree is in one step. Sometimes people put those in two different ones. But when you put it in one, it says that you can't do one without the other. And I think that's important, so I really like that a lot. And I don't know what I wrote here, but it's something about offering when the time is right. I have terrible handwriting, evidently. I can't read my own, right? Some of the things that I think that made a, a difference in it, what, what could have made a difference in your speech had they been a little different. You stated that uh, never to use a cold call when offering an expensive purchase. I think when you define cold call as nothing more than picking up the phone and saying hi to somebody you've never met, I agree with you possibly. However, the cold call by definition is the initial interaction for the very first time where you establish that initial rapport. When you bring an individual in without a cold call and just start trying to interact with them, you tend to leave a lot on the table. And I felt like during your conversation with Jeremy, that's exactly what happened. Jeremy had no clue what he was there for. He, some of the things that I was supposed to evaluate you on was, did you avoid talking about the product until the buyer asked about it? Well, since he had no clue what he was there for, the questions and answers that were given weren't leading into your product. So you had no opportunity to actually lead into it the way that you maybe would have had you actually set it up with the cold call. So considering a cold call an opportunity to introduce yourself and what you're doing, what you have to offer, and then asking that person to come visit with you so that you can share more information, I think actually would have made a huge difference in the entire process as a whole. That said, you'd asked a lot of great leading questions to gather information. Five to seven minutes isn't a lot of time for your first initial interaction. That's only a time to really kind of get quick info and move forward. I also liked how you leaned forward while speaking with him. That showed a lot of interest. And I liked that you had some great personal stories to share with everybody. Thank you very much and great job.